What's up, everyone? No Time to Die comes out next month, so beforehand, I'm going to try to review every single Daniel Craig, James Bond film in build-up to No Time to Die. So today, we're starting out with Casino Royale. Real quick before I jump in, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below to him what you think of Casino Royale and are you excited for No Time to Die? I certainly am. And this is going to be a spoiler-free review for the movie. Obviously, the movie's been out for years, but I'm going to leave it spoiler-free anyways. So let's jump right in. So Casino Royale is the first film to feature Daniel Craig as James Bond. It's from 2006, directed by Martin Campbell. And I've never been the biggest James Bond fan in the world. I do like a good amount of the movies. I've just, I've never, like, loved the franchise. But there are, like I said, there are a few movies in this franchise that I really love. And this is, and Casino Royale is absolutely one of them. Um, so this movie features James Bond going to head, head to head with the Chief, who's played by, of course, Mads Mikkelsen, the glorious Mads Mikkelsen. Um, and... Pretty much they go head-to-head -head in a poker game, that's kind of the main plot in the movie. Obviously there's more to it as it's a spy movie. But overall, this movie is amazing, and you already know that this movie is incredible. It's, there's a reason it's most people's favorite James Bond film, and it's probably my favorite James Bond film as well. I can't say it for sure, there are a few I like from earlier James Bond films that I really do like. But this movie just has so much going for it. Uh, first, uh, the, let's just talk about the action in this movie. It's absolutely amazing. It's unlike anything I've seen in another James Bond film. It's just it's choreographed so well. It looks really good. Um, it's just it's shot really well. It's just it's phenomenal action. Like there's an opening chase scene. The end, there's an end action scene. And there's a number of action scenes that throughout the movie that just really. Are, are filmed really well. The director does a nice job of capturing this tension in these fight scenes and making them really entertaining and making them really just enjoyable to view. Um, and that's just a huge nod to the director and the cinematography and everything. Um, and it's, the effects look really good, but I think most of the effects are like practical effects. There's not a ton of CGI or anything. It's just really top level action from not just from a James Bond film, but for a movie in general. And then probably the best aspect of this movie is going to be Daniel Craig as James Bond. Um, I don't. He, Daniel Craig might not be my favorite James Bond. Um, it would be close, but. James Bond in this movie, in Casino Royale, this is absolutely my favorite performance um, version of James Bond in this movie specifically. Um, I just love how they portray James Bond. They kind of portray him as more of this, they portray more of this human side of James Bond, especially towards the end, I'd be spoiling stuff, but like, he's more of a, they really make him more of a human in this movie, while at the same time keeping him as this elite badass detective who really just goes to all lengths to get things done for um, his team. And that's just really cool stuff. And I really enjoy that about this movie. Uh, it's just, it's really, uh, James, Daniel Craig is so awesome in this movie. Um, like literally, he's just such a good protagonist and such a badass. And you're rooting for him the entire time. And he just, he, he sells this character so well. And he's, they really, it was a phenomenal casting choice. And like I said, how they just make him this just absolutely believable protagonist um you believe that he's this agent who's just so good at like everything um and he's just he's so good in that perform in that role and like james bond is incredible in this film i love how this film kind of portrayed him in a unique fashion that was really awesome and a lot another aspect of the film i love is going to be the poker scene obviously you know if you say there's going to be poker in a movie that might sound boring watching people play poker you know nobody watches poker as a sport or anything but in this movie, it's so in, um, so intense in this film, um, and for a number of reasons. First, like just how the actors sell this game, um, Mads Mikkelsen specifically, just he really sells the tension of this game, the stakes in this game. It feels like you know this game is important. It feels like you know if 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 Mads Mikkelsen loses, you know bad things are gonna happen. If Daniel Craig loses, bad things are gonna happen. You just you really feel the tension in this game that, you know, it's more than just a game. You know, there's really a lot on the line within this poker game. And that's really awesome, awesome stuff throughout that scene. Uh, it, just, it keeps the tension flowing. And, like, I'm, I don't play poker. I don't really know the rules. I kind of, like, loosely know the rules of poker. But I'm able to follow the scene finally. And it makes sense what's happening. And it's just, it's really... a phenomenal scene that where you're glued to the screen the entire time and that is just something not a lot of movies can do especially with a poker scene and this movie does that perfectly and it works so well the plot of this movie is really nice like i said you know you kind of have this like kind of terrorist plot going on with uh, mad with the chief played by mads mickelson you kind of have that going on then it kind of evolves into a poker game where he's trying to win back his money um and it's just a really strong plot that keeps evolving throughout the film. It really keeps you guessing. It's not, in typical James Bond fashion, it's not like super plot driven where everything that happens has to do with 
the main overarching story. There's a lot of just kind of James Bond scenes of him doing James Bond stuff in, in typical James Bond fashion, but it works really well in this film. Um, there's a lot of just really cool scenes. Um, like just James Bond being a badass character in this movie that really works and it's just like the plot like I said you really don't know what's coming next you're really glued to the screen for the entire movie um, and it just it keeps changing and things keep happening characters keep doing things that drastically change the entire outcome of the movie and that just is really they're able to hold that through the entire like two and a half hour movie and that's really a nod to the director and that just that works so well for me and another aspect is I think this movie is relatively easy to follow. Some of the older James Bond films um, I think are a little dated and they're just they're not it's not always clear what's going on and what's the importance of things that are happening. They kind of kind of move at their own pace and stuff like that. Um, but this movie I think is very not not very easy to follow, but it's pretty easy to follow for a spy movie. I'm not a huge fan of spy movies, but I absolutely love this movie. I love the intrigue. I love the tension. I love all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, this movie is absolutely brilliant. The cast is really good in this film. Um, they all do an excellent job. Daniel Craig, obviously amazing as James Bond. Mads Mikkelsen is probably my favorite Bond villain. He's one of my favorite actors. He's so good in this movie. Um, like, I just, he pulls off this his character so well being this like kind of terrorist guy who's you know he's supposed to be scary but he's also you know just like absolutely freaking out over what's happening and that's really cool the movie flows nicely it's got a nice score and it's just a very well done movie on pretty much all aspects uh it's just you know like i said it's a near perfect james bond film if there was a perfect james bond film it is this one it is so good from start to finish it's completely entertaining the action is like top notch stuff very good um, like I said, Daniel Craig's really good, and it's just, like, this whole movie is just really amazing. I really, this is my second time watching this movie, and I had such a good time with it. First time, I was like, okay, that's pretty good. This time, I was like, this movie absolutely blew me away. And just how intrigued you are for the entire two and a half hours of the movie, um, you're just glued to the screen. And I, I've said that a number of times, but you are. You're just, you can't look away, because there's just so much happening, and so much stuff's important is happening. But they go about it in a nice way, where you don't get exhausted, and you just... You are able to enjoy the film. It is just a very fun, not fun, but like very enjoyable watch. But it's also just incredibly tense and you really feel the stakes of what's happening. And that's just such a huge nod to the movie. Um, so as for a score, I'm going to give Casino Royale a 5 out of 5 and a 95%. It's a perfect movie in my opinion, and you're a perfect movie. It's just it's so good. The action, the the characters, the plot, the tension, it's all everything works in this movie. The poker game being the main thing that just is really good and surprisingly good because, you know, like it's poker. But it's just this movie is really brilliant. I love it from start to finish. I really fell in love with this movie on my second watch. Uh, but anyways, that's going to do it for my review of Casino Royale. Uh, I will be reviewing Quantum of Solace uh, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um and as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of Casino Royale. And anyways, that's going to do it today. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.